All right, what's up, everybody? So, uh, we're back. So remember, right? We finished uh, Vermeer, or not Vermeer? Uh, Pharaohs here. Not the cleanest of finishes, but hey, we it's it's done. They're they're mostly alive. <laughs> so, uh, next thing we want to do is probably go to the moon real fast. To get that class stuff. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see from there. I, I really don't want to do the DLC, but we may do that today. The only problem I have with that DLC is that it's so boring. It's even worse than Overlord. Earth. And Mars. There's Earth. There's the moon. Oh, you know what? We'll, we'll get a Linko for this. All I read is because I actually want the, the uh, achievement. Because I still haven't done like five missions with them. I should also probably level them up real fast. This is like a terrible level up for him, but it's fine. He, he's he's not meant to be super good. Uh, I'll just yeah, I haven't upgraded him for shit, so I aren't giving him anything. Yeah, that's, that's fine for him. <laughs> It's that phoenix, I guess, but... If I remember correctly, I believe it's just right up there. Yeah, the base is just right up there. There isn't too much on this... <laughs> on the freaking moon here. Yeah, it's just gonna be a real quiet ride up to this fucking base. Uh, God damn it! Actually, you know what? Let's get this real fast. It. It's it's just here, anyways. Might as well grab it. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. <laughs> Right hit by rockets, hell quick. Yep, I think it already spotted me. <laughs> yep, there goes the rockets. Let's 
see. Can we cheese it so they can't see us, but I can shoot them? Now they still see me. Be all the rockets at least. Clear. I don't know why it always keeps giving me the sniper rifle when I first come in to any place. Now we're good. <laughs> That's it. Bag them and tag them. Yeah, basically all this mission is is just clearing out this place, destroying it, and you get like your uh, soldier thing gets upgraded. That's basically all this is for. I probably have no reason to actually do this at this point. in this like beginning part here once we get back to the actual main story it'll be all good and shit but th this is going to be the boring part <laughs> all targets down probably like later on whenever uh i actually upload this to the youtube part i'll probably like put a timestamp of when it gets to like back to the actual story over this because it's just like yeah <laughs> not really like that interesting ah fuck Too, too great. Oh yeah, I forgot to get water for myself before I started streaming, but it's all good. I'm on my way. Heads up! All clear. Oh, 
man. Well, at least this part's cleared. I th think this is the one that just puts shields on everything. Yeah, there's both shields. Just to make it more annoying. That, that that's basically all it is for there. Oh yeah, and I think the plan is just so that I can make sure that I actually like cut into even parts probably uh like halfway through the stream. I'm just gonna take like a quick breather and then uh, come back to the second part. Because uh <laughs> Last uh, time I was streaming Mass Effect, like for three hours, uh, one, like one part of it is pretty much for like almost two hours, <laughs> and then the other is like I don't know, like an hour ish. So yeah, go go ahead and try to at least when it comes to the single player games for uh, later on, so when I start cutting shit, that it's a little bit more even, so it's not like too big of a <clears throat> video, I guess. We're going to see how that works out. That's probably not going to work out, but, you know. Is there no chest here? I have these motherfuckers are gonna be all up against this door. Uh oh yeah, I forgot he has points too. Uh let's, let's just get shields up. better. That was probably like the best way it could happen <laughs> since this area is hella packed and there was like four rocket drones right there. That was probably the best that could happen <laughs> in this whole area. Thinking probably uh probably when I get my PlayStation Plus again. Never thought I would actually say this, but I'm gonna probably get my PlayStation Plus again, so just so I can play fucking Virtual Fighter. Online and like stream that and all that. Only for that game though. There, there's probably gonna be other games like have on there that come free or something I'll probably do, but it's probably not as likely. <laughs> uh, let's just do that. So yeah, basically what we did, we just destroyed an AI 
that was in this bunker that was malfunctioning. And, uh, yeah, now we got a specialization, which, uh, obviously, because of my name, we obviously gotta choose this one. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, now my damage is going to be a lot more ridiculous. I believe my health is higher, too. Yeah, increased damage, improved immunity. I guess not the health part, but that that's fine too. I'm, I'm already pretty good on health. I should probably level up my teammates too. But yeah, long story short, now I can do more damage, and uh, th this whole mission is a little bit more important later down the road, like in the n other games, like you'll actually get some more uh, information why all this shit happened, or like why I even did all this, but uh, yeah. Now we can get off this and then we can go back to story. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do the DLC. <laughs> We're just going to go straight to the main story stuff. Like, that, this whole mission right here, it, it's not the best. Like, old, like, this whole original Mass Effect DLC wasn't the greatest of DLCs, but. It, like, Mass Effect itself is pretty good. <laughs> Alright, time to go find that recon team. Uh... Just for the sake of doing this whole part. Actually, you know what? Mm, nah, let's just have Garrus. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. You got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Alright, so now this part, basically it's just a lot of driving, that's all. We're going to clear out a bunch of enemies, though, too, along the way, just to, um... Get as much XP as possible. <sighs> Man, these dudes are already shooting me. I'm not even over here yet. Look at these drones with their wall hacks and shit. <laughs> Oh, I guess freaking probably the same for me since I have radar. Oh my god. <laughs> my driving is terrible. I still got hit by both of those. Killed some native life.
More rockets? No? Okay, cool. <laughs> I think this one I have to go in yet. I think it's the next one. Oh boy. <laughs> Battle of this Colossus in my ship, or my, <laughs> my Mako. <laughs> Even though it's doing like no damage to me. Great fight, great fight. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm overheating the shit out of my gun. Okay, hopefully I don't have the bullshit that happened to me uh, last time I played this. people are going to shoot at me. No. Oh wait. Hold up. I remember now. It's because of this thing over here. Just, just turn around. Okay, okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. There must be a way to shut that gun down. Damn. I don't know why he keeps choosing his pistol out of everything. Now we can get to that base. Oh wait, oh shit. I forgot to get fucking Rex's armor. Uh this may end badly, guys. <laughs> this may end super badly.
anybody I can see from right here. Oh. Yeah, I'm being hella lazy about it. <laughs> There's a... stop sleeping so late. I've like screwed up my schedule. <laughs> so like now I keep on waking up hella late and I'm like way more exhausted than I was. <laughs> I've also been gaining weight which might fucking... well that, that's probably not even related but... <laughs> Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Time for this moment of truth here. There go the Solarians. I, I may have screwed up, but we're, we're going so we're going to take that L if it happens. Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirihi, Third Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within ten miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the Genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army... Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. Here we go. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. Well, I'd appreciate <laughs> that, Commander. Well, no truth. Ben and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. Well, before I do that, I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? Let me go talk to this commander Greetings, real fast. Human. I am commander. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Just want to get the licenses. That's it. I'm not too worried about the guns here. I don't even have money for these guns. <laughs> This mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. 
This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Okay, I do have enough. These Krogan are slaves of Saren. Puppets. Tools to be used in a Hey, okay, Mark was right. <laughs> Is that what you want for your people? No, we were tools from the council once. Magnus were wiping out the Rachni and they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. So yeah, if you have his There's armor. When we uh, find Saren, you don't even have to I do the Paragon choice. He'll, he'll actually be like super chill. So I didn't fuck up. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The <laughs> Everything is a okay. As it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Uh. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men Man, to accompany me. I'm so sorry. I'm so tired. <laughs> we'll need someone who knows a lot of communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? William, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, I got there, I fucked up. Loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on well. its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go? Uh, I'm so used to what I used to do that I fucking I, I just did that. Ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. Guess Ashley's gonna be alive. We'll God be damn fine. it. You'll see. Yeah, I just. Good luck. It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with That's my speech life. right here. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, 
But before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop staring. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Uh, God damn it. Okay. Um... I wanted to keep him, but I fucked up. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We'll, we'll just do what I normally do. Actually, we'll, we'll take Liara with me for this. Rip Caden. <laughs> was not the choice I wanted to do, but oh well. <laughs> Com check. Do you read me, Commander? It's fine. Let's move. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use... Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Uh, geez. Actually, I haven't checked yet. Do I have incendiary rounds yet? Hold up. Uh, how do I do it again? Do I still not have incendiary? Oh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Ow. Fucking sniper. Okay, so that'll help them out a little bit. It's not super wiped out. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. Alright, come up this way. Just, they're just chilling here. They're, they're vibing. <laughs> I'm just like murdering them. They're calling sat strikes. Dieto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Maybe right here, there's another thing. Oh, well, that was already disrupted. I didn't even have to do anything. Anything's on this side. I think it's just to the other or something. Yeah, it's just XP and some like stuff and crates. All right. This side, I believe, that has the like little air pad. Oof. 
Which we're not going to go that way. We're just going to go over here though. Actually, I guess I could have went either way. Man, these guys are just all right. <laughs> They're just standing still. Talk about freaking luck right there. But yeah, as you can see, the, the, the first game hasn't aged the best <laughs> in like everything. Still, lo love this franchise though. <laughs> That almost ended terribly. Shadow team must be getting close. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. That was some better incinerary rounds right there. We've got access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Salarian teams to handle. Yeah, Just we ain't gonna do that. Work. It's fine, we can, we can use the XP. Inside. Just gonna come in from this side though. Fucking love it, scenario routes. <laughs> They're so damn useful. Hello? Is someone out there? Yeah, they're just losing their minds. Ah, there's like a little thing up here too. Uh, let's see. Figure out which one. What do you want? I think it was I this one. I, who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone was coming. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. 
Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cunning. I'd said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What do they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something is not right here, Shepard. Setting him free could endanger the mission. No. No! I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> and he knocks himself out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that part is just... <laughs> Can I not go that way? Don't know why I can't go that way. Oh well, I guess uh, back to the elevator. Should have been a door like right here somewhere. Yep, yeah, right there. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assume. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Ah! You enjoyed that, Commander. Only a little bit.
Time for another beacon. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Ready to see some weird shit again? <laughs> about to see some weird shit again. Basically, we can understand it now, <laughs> for the most part. This is not good. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. That shit. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply... The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance. And at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. You're not even. Uh, we're just going to keep going. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the new. Alright, we're getting the fuck out of this place. We're already almost done with this whole, like, mission. <laughs> This one's actually really short, all things considered, even though there's like a whole bunch of important decisions. That guy did not know what to do. 
Looks like Shadow picked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Hold them. It's not fast enough, though. about the Krogan than I am the fucking thing over there. Good assault rifle in here. Oh no. No, no, get the assault rifle this time for me. It's, like, it's super good, but you can't do anything like attachment wise with it. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Gotta secure this area? Question mark. Oh, right. Nice oh, work. Never mind. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Just casually bring a nuke down, that's all. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're, we're still going to do what we were doing. This combo is actually pretty good. <laughs> And 
Everybody just floating. <laughs> Garrus, please. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Heads up, LT. We just spotted the troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's gas pouring out all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Alenko, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off. No matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Alenko! I want to, but I need Captain Carey's. I, I want to rescue him. <laughs> radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA Tower. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice! And you know it, Ash! I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Uh, no, I have to remember how to I add spray here. Diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of pity freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bound before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. 
Sovereign's manipulating you, and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together, yeah, we can that, stop that was Sovereign. a lie. <laughs> we don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Th but Sovereign you are. <laughs> it is inevitable. My way. Is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers. But you just said you forge your alliance for yourself to keep yourself and alive. In doing so, <laughs> I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. I'll do that. Still not sure why we don't just keep shooting at him anyways. <laughs> Man, we just look super pissed. <laughs> I, I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Alenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It was, but I'm so used to saving you. It wasn't your call, <laughs> God damn it. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Ash, how far are you going to drive yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. What the public and the military did to him was unfair. But I don't want to lose a good soldier over it. I, I, Commander. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. All right, time to see this in Relax, more detail Embrace yet again.
I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Uh, yeah, I bullshit. <laughs> the joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Council will never help for anything. <laughs> I just need some rest. You're just like here, here. Here's your status. Just uh, here. please fuck just off. <laughs> that, that's basically always what the council does. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joe. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a reaper. Imagine fucking being fucking one of the arms of the Sovereign. fucking council and Sovereign always being doubted. Contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Alright, so let's go talk to everybody real fast. Actually, probably don't even need to talk to everybody. Just uh, a certain few people. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Alright. Got that done. Now we're just gonna go talk to everybody down below. Since nobody else is really here.
Actually, you know what? Uh, I don't even think I have enough money for. Commander, do you have a few minutes? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Right. Dismissed, Chief. sir. Okay, so she got nothing. Commander, you did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Shepard. You have my... The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Alright, let's hey, Commander. start selling some Looking stuff. For some extra supplies? Nope. Not right now, thanks. No problem. Keep checking back. Looking for supplies? Okay. What have you got? Whatever you... Well, as long as you don't mind. We're well, just gonna skip all that. <laughs> let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Let's start selling the ones at the very bottom here. Actually, not by price. Oh yeah, level. I'll probably do it. Just going to get rid of this real fast and then uh, take a short break and then come back for the like next parts. <laughs> Just I'm trying to clear out all this stuff and trying to see if I can get enough money to uh, get some better things, you know? <laughs> Cause we're already on like threes and fours and all that. Or actually I think like five now, so. Yeah, we're just gonna clear out all the threes as well. Looking for supplies? Fuck. Let's see what you've you got. You bet, Commander. Uh. Do I have a gun yet, or the assault rifle I want? Okay, he doesn't have any of the things I actually really want. Now nah, we won't talk to Tally. She's fine. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so. I will be right back. We're just going to do like a short five minute break. So 